Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP for another Sharp Practice Battle Report. Tonight we'll be continuing with the Dark and Stormy game. This will be Dark and Stormy 2, Ram's Bottom's Return. So tonight we'll see the first uh, action of uh, Lieutenant George Ramsbottom and his British Dragoons. So I finished painting them. They're ready to rock and roll and uh, they're going to hit the table tonight. So we'll see how they do. Uh, if they have the usual luck that uh, units have when I first field them, they'll probably be obliterated within uh, short order. So um, I'll read the little description I wrote for, uh, for Darkness Army 2 Ramsbottom's Return. And I apologize if it sounds like the uh, title of an adult film, but uh, you know that's what it is. So we'll see what kind of hits we get, uh, <laughs> viewer-wise. So anyway, I'll go on with it here. So, after being driven from his winter quarters by the rebel attack on Christmas Eve, Captain Henry Gage is linked up with the rest of his regiment. Along the way, he has stumbled upon a unit of dragoons led by Lieutenant George Ramsbottom. Together, they plan to take Delilah to New York for interrogation and burn homes along the way in reprisal for the cowardly sneak attack. Captain Stephen Harper and his men, fresh in the stunning victory on Christmas Eve, intend to stop him and rescue Delilah. So this game is not going to be nowhere near as uh, cool and in-depth as the one Joshua made that we did last week, Dark and Stormy, but uh, I wanted to kind of keep it going a little bit, so I just real quickly made up this scenario. We're actually going to just be using uh, scenario 4 from the book, Escort Duty. And the mission will be Henry Gage and his men will need to start on this edge and they need to get Delilah off of this edge. So I'll be rolling for um, either in the middle of this, this half, in the middle of this half, that's where my deployment point will be. And then the Continentals will be coming in either uh, here, here, or the same two spots on that side. So he's going to have to roll the D6. And on a one or two, I'm sorry, uh, on a one or four, they can place their deployment points. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. He's going to randomly pick one of these uh, places to deploy from. Uh, for support wise, roll 1d6 and add a 6. That is the amount of support for both sides. So that's the main objective is to get off of the board. And just for fun, we're going to add a couple of victory points. So uh, uh, every um, house that the British burned down will be one victory point. And if they break a formation of Continentals, it'll be one victory point. And if they wipe out a unit of Continentals, it'll be one victory point. And for the Continentals, if they break a British formation, it's one point. And if they wipe out a British unit, it's two points. So, assuming I don't get off the board, it's possible I might still be able to win by victory points. Um, and if I do, I guess, off-camera, they somehow sneak around and get uh, Delilah to uh, New York. So terrain wise, uh, well, you probably notice if you've seen many of my battle reports that for sharp practice I don't use very many buildings. They're usually pretty wide open. So this is the most buildings I've ever had on the board at once. I've also introduced some actual hardcover to this game. This would be, we haven't used it very often, but we'll see. Uh, it's pretty powerful to be in hardcover in this game. So it's I tried to limit the amount, but I still wanted to have some just to mix it up a little bit because we've been playing on wide open boards quite a bit. So, and of course, the rest of the terrain is the same old, you know, rules: soft cover for the fence. The fields are just for, for looks; they're not going to hinder movement. And then the woods, a four-inch rule applies there. And I think that's pretty much it for the uh, intro here. So I'll go ahead and uh, go over the forces, and then when Andre gets here, we'll we'll get started. So here we have the British force, led by Captain Henry Gage. So it consists of two groups of two red coats each, which of course I could form them into one big uh, formation of four if I wanted. And there they are, Rams Bottoms Dragoons completed. So I'm happy about that. And uh, we'll see if they can do anything in this game at all. I've never used cavalry before, so I kind of messed around just testing it you know, just by myself here on the board. And they move very fast, almost too fast sometimes it seems like. 
Uh, but anyway, so we move on. We have Tatanka leading his mass troops. So we got our Indians as, as intended, mass troops, 12 of them, with a level 1 leader, Tatanka. And then another thing I want to try for the first time is uh, two groups of light infantry skirmishers in formation. So since this is earlier in the war, the uh, light infantry skirmishers up to 1777 can be in formation, always. Uh, but they do lack some of the other rules. They only have sharp practice, so they don't have aggressive, they don't have tomahawks. Uh, the red coats as well have different rules. Um, they have their step out is one worse, or all the things step out, drill, folly, are three flags instead of two, but they do gain the thin red line uh, rule, which they don't have after 1777. So, leader wise, we have Gage, he's a level two leader. And we have Sergeant Martin as a level two leader. So he's a uh, very, very respected and experienced and seasoned uh, sergeant. So he has been uh, given command of the two groups by uh, Henry Gage. Of course, we have Lieutenant Ramsbottom. Uh, I'm going to run him as a level two leader tonight just to see how that works out. Uh, might be too powerful. If it is, we'll just adjust him down to a level one. Uh, Tatanka, he's a level one leader. And Roger Sharp, Lieutenant Roger Sharp, leader five, he is in command of both groups and so he's made uh, he's been made a level two himself. So that's it for the British. This is eighty points exactly. So now I'll go take a look at the uh, Continental Force. Now here we have the Continental Force led by Captain Stephen Harper. So this force is seventy Five points. It's a little bit less point-wise. Um, so the main group, led by Harper, is going to be the three groups of volunteers. These are conscripts and volunteers. They are not continental line, so they are not nearly as good. So formation, they can do it with no shock. They get first fire and the first first only for control volley. The only special rule they have is step out for two flags, and they have sharp practice. And then we got two groups of militia. The same. They're the same, no bayonets though I gave them. Um, and then we have the light cannon. We've got a group of light infantry skirmishers and we have Wadsworth Rangers. So leader wise, uh, leader one is Captain Harper. He is a level three leader. And he is assisted by Sergeant Knox, a level one leader. Montrose, he's a level two leader. Uh, Lieutenant Walker, Johnny Walker, he's level one. Angus Pope, he's the new uh, leader for the cannon crew here. He's a level one. He's a sergeant. And finally, we have Wadsworth leading his rangers. He is a level one as well. So that is all the forces. Um, we'll go ahead and get the uh, force morale rolled up. We'll roll up our support, pick our support, place our deployment points. And then we'll get started. All right, so we're, we've done all the prelim, preliminary stuff. Um, the deployment points, I got uh, one there. And part of my support, I bought another one. Move, movable, put it there. Andre's primary is there. And his, he bought a movable as well, and it's there. As far as support goes, I got the colors. I got a musician. I bought the movable deployment point. I bought spirit and tinder box for help them burn down the houses and I bought a sharpshooter for my uh, light infantry. Andre bought two breastworks and he bought a movable deployment point. What else did, uh, what else did you get? <laughs> uh, two breastworks, the movable deployment point. I upgraded the cannon leader to level two. I think that was it, yeah. So we're both at nine. We got, we actually rolled ten, but we just we both took nine. So anyway, uh, force morale wise, I got an eleven. Andre only got a nine, so that could that could come in big at uh, during the game. But Andre is going to be uh, have a lot of hard cover between the two breastworks and the hard cover that's already on the board. So. Anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, get, get started. Right, before we start, uh, there is a rule in this uh, mission escort duty. We're not 
100% sure on how to interpret it, but it says, uh, so the attacker rolls a further d6 and half that total rounding up. And then the player now takes that many moves with his entire force. So, roll a d6. Alright. So, yeah, we don't know if that means you get to deploy. Half of that is one, rounding up is two. So, I mean, the only way you could do this is if you had stuff on the board already, which means you wouldn't be pulling it out of the bag. But, as Andre was saying, the people crossing need some kind of an advantage because they're just going to be going into prepared positions. There's no way they're going to make it. So, what I'm going to do is anything I want to deploy, I will, and I'll take two moves uh, with all those units. And, like, the... Um, What's his face? Uh, Ram's bottom, I probably won't put him out yet. So he'll just come in as normal. But I'm thinking maybe everyone else might just come in now. And then, oh yeah, Delilah's going to be with Gage. So I'll deploy everything. I'll take my two free moves and then we'll get started. So it turns out I can only do one move. Um, but everyone moved once, so Tatanka moved up. No one else has moved up. Uh, over there, the guy with the base on the extra base, that's my sharpshooter. But Gage moved up a good distance, got to the road, and uh, Martin moved up behind uh, Sharp. So let's do it. First, here we go. Blue two. That's your I'll buddy. Take off some shock. Your buddy, Sergeant Sergeant Knox. Do, do. Really? Wait, well, we at get, least you've moved. Do we get three? <laughs> that was before the game started. <laughs> That wouldn't count. <laughs> Alright, so then, uh, well, that's Gage. So I just moved up 3d6 because I'm in column. Straight up the road. Five. Who is that? Uh, Pope. Angus Pope. That's your cannon. Oh. So Sergeant Pope, level 2 Pope, came in. Uh, he's going to present. He's going to fire at poor uh, Gage in column there. So anything but, right? Oh, three misses. Three butts. Three butts. No sixes, though. Yeah, that was nasty. So it's, uh, yeah, fives. The first fire. And uh, presented and in column. How many did you get? Uh, seven. All right, I'll split them up uh, seven at seven each. Oh, so. <laughs> Sweet. I think you want four on uh, yeah. the big man. Oh, oh. it's not, not a good start. Not a good start. So three shock there and three dead. See if it's him. No, it's not. Nice save. So three dead and three shock. All right. Well, that was painful. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get out of column. Of course, I'm trying to get off the board. So that's all I can do is just move up. Six. Six. I think that's Wadsworth. Robert. Wads Wadsworth's come in there behind the breastworks. So that's hard cover, and he's going to fire onto Tatanka. So long range, but first fire, and skirmishers, so fours. Four hits. Four hits. I guess I should have some dice with me, but... So on Tatanka. Uh, one dead and two, two shot. shot. So let me see if it's Tatanka. Oh god, it is. <laughs> Man, if I lose him, that unit is pretty much useless. Uh, he's knocked out. Damn. Uh, so, oh. I, I didn't lose a man. Yeah, Tatanka's unconscious. He's got the red base there. But I didn't lose one. Yeah, two dead. No, I had one. One dead one. and two shock. Oh, yeah. okay. So now that unit is effectively worthless. I can move it, I can move them on the uh, Tiffin though if I have a card. That's the only way they're going to be able to move. So, all right, next right, card. Right, minus two uh, minus pips. Two. Yeah, two shot. Oh, yeah. And no way to remove yep. it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you don't got to rub it in, Andre. Uh, so just it's a hell of a shot by Wadsworth, though. You know, some red flags coming out would be good. You what do you got? Four? You should have said that before. Where's um, Walker? Johnny Walker. All right, so Walker's coming in there. He's going to fire on Tatanka. So effective, no, you only got muskets, I'm sorry. Long range, so uh, fives, fours, because it's first fours. fire and uh, first oh, fire, and, and, you, and, get the and plus you get the plus one. one. So, how many did you get? Uh, three hits, three hits. Man, was that the fifth one I've rolled? 
the fifth uh, six I rolled for casualties already. So two more shock, yeah. And another dead. Not Tatanka, thankfully. <laughs> well, Alright. The good news one. is you didn't put Delilah with the Indians. That would have been a disaster. Well, I almost did, but... But then you probably wouldn't have run hey. over there either. Four. Uh, so Sharp moved up. All three of his moves got into those trees there. Tiffin. Uh, that's my other group. Uh, that's Martin. Sergeant Martin moved up. Uh, one command, he moved them 2d6, and he used his last command to snap them into line. Ooh, three flags. We haven't even seen our blue flag yet, have we? We have not. Which is okay. <laughs> yeah. not hurt you any. No. Uh, yeah, keep going. Tiffin. Okay, well, I got a couple things I can do. So with my flags after the Tiffin, I moved the Indians up a whole two inches with all the shock they had. And then uh, Gage's um, formation moved up a pretty good distance, I think eight inches. So I move on to turn two. Oh no. Three. Montrose. Yes, that's Montrose. And then Montrose came in at 12 from this deployment point, so as he's defending, he can come in 12. Um, came in right there and presented in column. Another blue card. I think that's uh, this dude here. So he's already unloaded, actually. Double, double oh, unloaded, unloaded. So reload. Well, actually, he would have half reloaded because okay. all he did was fire. So he'll uh, reload and fire on the Indians. Fire. Let me think about. Uh, and he's firing at uh, Tatanka. Needing five hours. One hit. All right. Not another six. Okay, thank you. Point of shock, though. Just a point of shock. So these guys are toast. They got five shock, no leader. Oh, I forgot to roll to see if he gets up. Oh, yeah, roll it. Come on, give me. Get up, Tatanka. What do you need? It's just a flesh wound, a five plus. Yes. Oh. What? What happened? <laughs> oh, roll your bad thing too. Oh, bad thing. So level Flash one leader me. killed. I mean wounded. Probably minus one. That's my guess. I'll check, but go ahead and pull the next card. Oh, blue flag. I was gonna say, aren't we gonna pull anything red? But uh, I'm uh, not complaining, am I? Not yet. <laughs> I'm waiting for the right moment. Oh, oh. Gage. Okay. So Gage, I couldn't remove a shock and do everything, so I did not remove any shock. But I did snap them into line, and we're going to fire a volley into... Actually, you're in column, so it's plus another one, so three ups. Uh, he's going to present and fire into Montrose in column. Uh, needing threes, first fire presented, and in column. That's a lot of misses. Wow. This game is... I think that was a hit. This is not going well. <laughs> I need threes, and I missed... Seven. Seven misses. Seven hits. Not good enough. <laughs> I need everything to go right if I'm going to have any chance at all in this so game. So they're the only ones in the arc. Yep. So four in the back, three in the front. Yep. Nothing. <laughs> hey, oh. two dead in the front and a shock, and then the back is just one dead and only one shock. So seven misses on 14 dice. Needing threes. Let's just say that this has not gone well for me <laughs> so far. But I so still have a piece up my sleeve. Two shock in the back? Two shock and a dead. Uh, no, just one shock and then dead in the back. I'm in the open. Yeah. So two shock in the back. Oh, I'm sorry, it's two shock, no dead. No dead and two shock two and dead, two. one shock. Yes. <laughs> what Andre said. One of those. I think I need to go get a glass of Johnny Walker here. I'm starting to, <laughs> to clear my head. All right, next card. See a red one. There's the flag. I needed that one. I had Montrose. I mean, not Montrose. What's his face? Five. Who's that? Five is Angus Pope. Angus. Angus. That's your uh, cannon. 
Could have been Agnes. Bruce. Isn't Agnes the one in charge over there? That's Molly. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought that was Agnes. <laughs> Could be. So he just reloaded. <laughs> All right. Five. Red five. So five was Tatanka. He had to move, had to just keep the shock, but luckily we were able to get pretty far even with a five shock. So most of, we're mostly out of, out of line of sight now. Uh, Sarge, that's your sergeant. Come on, red two, red two. No, not that one. <laughs> that's the one I didn't want to see. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> I needed my uh, skirmisher so I could rush up to the fence. Or I needed Sergeant Martin, but that's the last one I wanted to see come out right now. Man. So Andre brought uh, Harper in here. They're actually in column facing that direction, so I don't know what uh, kind of shenanigans he's planned in here. Well, <laughs> I could have, you know, obviously I could put him here. We could uh, decimate that unit. Oh, you're cutting me some slack, is that what you're saying? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, ta I'm rolling the, di the dice a little bit, um, but it's no not... No pun intended. <laughs> ...entirely uh, um, <laughs> unself-serving. So if this works out um, in a couple turns, you'll, uh, you'll understand if you haven't guessed already. Okay. Ooh, going for the third flag. Yes. Third flag. Who was that? Last person to do something. Wasn't it the Indians? They moved, right? I'm pretty sure. Everyone else is kind of reloaded. So Yeah, it was. All right. Well, give me something good. A six. A six. Uh, step out, lads. They've got a spring to their step. What does it say? Oh, uh, I'm <laughs> what sure is it's it? an, I think it's uh, the unit and may add one d6 of movement immediately. Sweet. Really? Well, I got five shocks, so if I, I roll a six. You might move one. <laughs> okay, move. they go backwards four. <laughs> <laughs> Involuntary withdrawal. <laughs> Those aren't very springy Indians you got there. Two, that's Martin. Over there in the field. Martin just moved up seven. Four. Four. Johnny. That's Johnny. He'll reload. No, this is Johnny. Oh. Did they shoot? Not uh, not this turn. No, the last turn. They fired and reloaded. Fired and reloaded, okay. yeah. Alright. So Walker, he moved up with his free move and one extra move. He got to there. He's going to fire into Tonka. These three are shooting not through cover. And the other three are. So the first two, three, not through cover. Three. I think you got it. Or are you within 12? No, but this is my first fire. Or no, it's no, not my shot. first fire. So two of them are. Okay, so, so two hits. Two hits. And then, so I'll do those. Those are the ones that were not in cover, right? Yeah. So uh, another dead. See if it's uh, what's his face. No, thank God. <laughs> so another dead and a shock. Okay, so the guy's in cover. Uh, one That's hit. That's gonna be a hit. So I'm up to six shock. And seven shock. Seven shock already. These Indians did not do well. Well, they've been actually taking a lot of fire. Yep, so and they're uh, unloaded. unloaded. Well, they're just a distraction unit anyway, basically. It worked. Next card. I'm, I'm distracted. <laughs> I'm sending my whole force over there. <laughs> yeah, the sacrificial. That, that is Mr. Ram's bottom. Let he's, me think of if I want to bring him in or not. All right. Ram's bottom has appeared. His At first action. At the gallop. He's coming in at the gallop and he's pointing this way. <laughs> Wonder where they're going. <laughs> Three flags. Okay, hold on a second here. So who hasn't activated? Four. Four, Four is my light infantry. Everyone else is activated. So I probably should... Of course, you don't have anything over there anymore, do you? Actually, <laughs> I'm going to use them for them. Because if you pull the tiff in, 
Of course, they could just do the same thing with the Tiffin, couldn't they? Keep going. Tiffin. Oh. Hello, uh, what, Ram's Bottom? <laughs> a dash with Elon. Actually, they have a rule called Tally Ho, which takes, I think, a flag or two maybe, but it gives them an extra d6 of movement and like two more dice of attack. Nice. <laughs> Tally Ho, but I don't, I can't do that. So let me think what I want to do with these four flags. All right, here we go. Charge of Ram's Bottom. I had to do it. I probably should maybe not have, but uh, you know Rams, he's very uh, impulsive, uh, dashing. He got a, he saw a chance, he got to use four flags. Well, and it's sort of like, uh, what else is he going to do? I mean... Well, that's his job, yeah. Um, so this is my chance. have another opportunity like this, nope. but... So I get 18 dice, Andre gets 10. So here we go. Don't whiff. Oh... Sorry, Travis. How many did you get? Five. What's what's your roll in here, man? I don't know. Well, I got six, so you lost. So I lost five horses, though. Ah, come on, Andre. Quit rolling so high. <laughs> and, uh, well, only one shot, though. But at least you won. Yeah, barely. So it is Ram's bottom. Let's see what happens to him. He's knocked out, so check your leader. Uh, well, yeah, it's obviously him because they're rolled six. So see what happens to him. He just loses a command. <laughs> yes. All right. So I lost five horses, actually four, and then Ram's bottom got knocked out. But you did lose. Um, so we'll figure out what happens now and roll all the bad things and everything. All right. Oh, bad things. Roll... Uh, a one, level two leader, probably a minus one. A five, level one leader, probably just a minus, minus one. one. Okay, so what happened? He's down to three guys there. They, they fell back six. The whole formation just moved back. He got two shock on each. I lost five horses, and Ram's bottoms knocked out. So I don't know how effective that was. Looking at it, it doesn't... I lost a hell of a lot more than you did. Yeah. But... Um. Trading one to one uh, is not no. to your uh, advantage. But what else is he going to do? <laughs> if he had uh, Delilah, I could have just ran off the board. But <laughs> I need a main thing. I need to occupy some. I need to draw some attention away from those guys. So you're going to have to spend some time now that, trying to. Uh, it worked. But actually, we're still not done with the turn yet. So I'm hoping to get you draw out that red four next. Or a blue flag. Or a blue flag. Don't have six flags in there. Tiffin. Okay. So what do you got left? One, two, three, four. Nothing. You have nothing left. These guys won? Apparently. Uh, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, five. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Everyone's gone. But no, they didn't go. They just came in this turn. Really? Yeah, it's still the same turn. It's been a long Damn. turn. Look at, all the flags. <laughs> Look at all the flags we have. <laughs> okay. So we'll move on to the next turn. All right, come on, Ram's bottom. <laughs> Actually, he can't do anything because he's knocked out anyway. Yeah. I could roll to get back up, though. One. Oh, that's the one I didn't want to see. Yeah. Of course, what are you going to do? Not exactly what I wanted first. Yeah, so you got three guys and two shock on these two. And you're in a column. Okay, so I guess Ram's bottom is about to get uh, destroyed here. Because he was able, well, they snapped in with a command. These guys were in the back, they kind of, they had to move up, so they used both actions to get up here. And so he's got 8, 9, 10, 11, minus 4, plus 3. So I think we decided that was 11. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about you right. You kind of lost me on the math there. But, uh, mental math. So it's anything but, because first you're going to present um, short range. Actually, I'm not going to present. Why not? Because I want to reload. Okay. So he's going to just fire an uncontrolled volley. Fire an uncontrolled volley, so... Need threes. Need threes. Need a lot of misses. 
That's not enough. Not Two, enough misses. Two, four, six, eight. Ooh, we appreciate. So this will be the end of Ram's bottom. Uh, two dead, and a buttload of shock here. Two, six. four, six shock and two dead. Let's see if it's Ram's bottom again. No. no. So they're gonna break. So they have six shock with two guys left. And uh, did I mention that this scenario was impossible to win? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the well, march across the board ones always are. Well, I still got something up my sleeve. So two guys with six shock, so they're broke. They just straight up broke. They don't fall back or anything. So they do 2d6 plus six. So seven plus six back. Yep. So they threw the dead horse over his uh, over the back of the other horse and they dragged Ram Ram's bottom back this direction. Don't forget your six shot. So you get a victory point for uh, breaking a unit. And a bad thing. And a bad yes, bad thing. <laughs> okay. Sixes are always good. Ah. Okay. This is the opposite. I'm doing I'm having an opposite night. I'm rolling high on the stuff I need low and I'm rolling low on the stuff I need high. So six on a uh, I'm down hey. to seven. I'm winning. Yeah, well, I got some tricks up my sleeve still. As long as I get the right flags. I never even got to move uh, sharp last turn. Still recording? Yep. Well, then I'll pull the tip in. <laughs> well, perfect. That's just what I wanted. <laughs> you get to fire a volley, you get a free move, and then the turn ends, and I do nothing. So what are you going to do? Fire the cannon? Actually, no. Something with Montrose? Oh, I can't snap. I, can I? Uh, you cannot snap because it's not the officer. So the main, the only thing you could really do would be, uh, well, you could do something with pretty much everyone. Yeah. All right, he's going to try to assault uh, Ram's bottom. That is... With Johnny. Easy 13. 13. Not making it. <laughs> yeah. Finally, I catch a break on your bad roll. Didn't get anywhere close. Yep. So Andre managed to block line of fire from everyone behind him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he did. Actually, the cannon can still... Uh, cannon. <laughs> actually, I see a dead horse laying over there with the cannon. He's wounded. <laughs> Okay, a wounded horse. <laughs> <Not dead>. <laughs> <laughs> right, give me something red here. Red four, red four. Come on. <laughs> Isn't Not this, blue one. Well, this is the opposite order of how we started last time. Well, they can't shoot. But they can move. They can take shock off. So we'll take off two shock. And move up. Now Harper took two shock, and they moved it up a whopping three inches, so... There he is. He's a whopping. And we both agree that Andre's dice have dried up. Well, but the, the, the cards are still. The bag has not or the dice have. Uh, that's a red one. That's a red Tiffin. A red Ooh. two. That's, that's not a red one. That's a red two. That's, a, that's Sergeant Martin. So Martin, he only moved up four, but he's up there in line. Ooh. So that is my main man, Mr. Gage. Reloaded and presented, and took a shot. We're gonna act like true red coats. And we're just gonna stand and take the shots and then just return fire. Four, that's finally sharp. Who's been stuck over in those trees for <laughs> seemed like an He's hour. He's got the wall guarded. Yeah. He's so sharp. He just moved up uh, to the fence as close as he could at least. And four. That's Walker. Uh oh. I try to assault again. Let's see if you can make it this time. Can I interrupt? No, I can't do anything. Of course, they're broken. They don't know. Yeah, I think you'll make it with a 10. So I get zero dice. The Tomahawks give me five more. So what do I got? 11, 11. shock. <laughs> so, so that got, totally erases the two so dice. I get six plus. I might have had. One is seven. Oh, you get. Yeah. Well, plus two for aggressive. aggressive. Yep. And I think that's it. Yep. So all you need is two fives. Let's see, three fives. Three fives. Okay, see if it's 
Mr. Ram's bottom. Well, it has. Yes, it is. If it's three, it has to be, doesn't it? Well, that's true. There's only three left. So he loses another command initiative, so he's to a zero. Technically, he's still laying there. So you could capture him. And in the next turn, just move up and do that ram. Do I get to regroup? So or? bad thing. Two. That's minus one. Minus one. So I'm down to six. Man, that ram's bottom charge cost me dearly. But you know how ram's bottom is. <laughs> but he, he doesn't uh, listen to orders. You stole my main formation. Stole Stalled. Oh. I'd be uh, up in here. Well, yeah, I'm not sure it was worth four freaking morale, though. <laughs> Whatever uh, it was, I lost from that. Whatever it is, I've lost a lot of morale from that shenanigans. Yep. Five. That's Pope. Agnes. No, not Ag <laughs> Angus. Damn it. <laughs> Agnes. <laughs> so he's going to present, I'm assuming? Um, or half reload. That's kind of a toss-up, isn't it? Well, it's, you present fire this time, or you present fire next time. So you get ten shots, uh, needing fours if you present, fives if you don't. So yeah, I'll I'll present and fire. Okay. Two hits? You got off. Oh no, three hits. I'm sorry. <laughs> Five hits. Oh man. I was going to say you didn't present. I good, th good thing I presented, huh? Yeah, so let's see here. Uh, three on the big man, two on the non-big man, another six, another six. What do you know? So a shock on each and a dead out of each. So Actually, you just took one out of Martin's. It's these two. That was close. And then one shock on each. Oh. Next card, huh? I pulled the one? Yeah. What did I do with those guys? I think you removed a shock and moved them up like two inches or something oh, like that. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, that's right. The, the chips don't lie, Andre. This is true. Didn't look like much, though. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, three flags. That's three flags in a row? No. Oh, two flags in a row. Though. But I got three flags. Yeah. But it is two flags in a row. So hopefully you get another one and something bad happens to your cannon, like the barrel gets fouled or something or other. Next card. Have these guys gone yet? Yes. Yeah, Martin? Yeah, he went. Okay. Go. I'll keep going then. Three. Actually. That's Montrose. I'm glad I didn't burn three flags on him. So Montrose took all the shock off. He used two of the flags for that. Um, he snapped into line. And what? Well, I don't know if you can do that because you used one of your commands oh. plus two to remove the shock, and the other one snaps. So you have no commands left, so you can't present. You want to rethink that? So the shocker back, so, mysteriously. Couldn't. <laughs> So he didn't Never mind, boys, you're still traumatized. He snapped him in and then presented. And another freaking flag. Ooh. <laughs> what is this? Four flags. Come on, Andre. Four flags, Travis. There. It's four flags. So you can do a bonus activation on something. I can, I can. That's a lot of breaks. So these guys are going to move up. They're going to capture. So let me roll a bad thing. We'll just say there's not one for captured, but what, wounded, killed? Um, we'll say killed because he's yeah. out of the game. So that's so minus one. Level two. Oh, it's a level two no, leader. That's minus one. Status two leader. I checked the odds. Oh, here he is. Let's check the odds. Well, good. Then I'm only down to a five. You are. You were supposed to be down started to a four with all of that. I started at an 11. Okay. So Ram's bottom is now in custody of the Continental Army. <laughs> so we got... What are you shooting at? Indians. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Shooting at the Indians on the flank. So, needing threes? This is because of the fours. Uh, you're in 12 inches, all yeah. of them. So, it's twos because you're... Uh, twos. Yeah. Okay. So, that's seven hits. So, you didn't miss any? Yes. You did? Yes, I didn't miss any. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, that's uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve shock. On the Indians, <laughs> plus seven. 19, that's a new record, <laughs> Travis. <laughs> we almost need three of these at this point. <laughs> so they're going to fall back, obviously. 
So let's roll for that. Broken. Uh, group uh, breaks on a four is minus one. So I'm down to four. Ah, maybe charging Rams bottom in wasn't the greatest idea. And then they're going to fall back two, uh, 2d6 plus 6. Well, that's it for Tatanka. Uh, he ran off the board. <laughs> so now all I got left is those guys. It's been a hard scenario, but I still can get her off the board maybe. If I get some freaking cards pulled out in a proper order. Three. Who is three? Rams bottom is three. Okay. We're so going to... We'll uh... take that out of there. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to activate the uh, American skirmishers <laughs> and fire into this line here. <laughs> and another blue one. That's Wadsworth. Wadsworth's just going to reload. <laughs> okay. Come on, Andre. We'll pull, pull some red out. here. Oh, no. He's a level zero. Uh, that's right. Yes, Sergeant Knox is wounded. He's... There we go, a red one. Uh, Ang uh, Angus Poop. <laughs> Five is Tatanka, so obviously he's not doing anything. <laughs> so he's he's to, doing uh, something, he's just not doing it on the board. I'm down to three liters. Hey, we're down to three cards. Oh, God. You got two flags. But I think I've already activated everyone, so... Yeah. Five. Everyone's done something. Uh, Gage presented, the other guys moved up, they both moved up. Uh, and turn. Uh, uh, is it too late to start burning houses down? No. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to get to them. I forgot I was supposed to burn those down on the way in, and totally, totally forgot. Should have had to talk to it on the way I off the board. I should have. Hey, red flag. Those can come in handy. Blue one. So can those. Harper wheeled backwards. Got to about that angle there. Before he ran into the fence. <laughs> hey, I got a flag though. You do. <laughs> Sweet. So my one flag, I got Sharp and his boys over the fence. Next turn. Tiffin, Tiffin, Tiffin. <laughs> I want to get rid of that deployment point. I'm assuming that's how we get rid of deployment points. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sweet. Nice. So he lost two horse morale for that. My cannon reloads. Uh, does my officer... No, you need a physic to do that. The only thing that happens is reloading. You lose your present. I lose my present. And... Next turn. Tiffin. <laughs> oh, red one. No, not red one. Solomon Montrose. That's your militia. So Montrose has just moved. He took a shock off and he moved back to 2d6. So he's just moving straight back. He's not wheeling. Two flags in a row. Good job, Two Andre. Two flags. <laughs> One ship at a time. That's what you get for pulling them, huh? <laughs> you got them all stacked up in there. Hey, what do you know? Hey. A blue flag. Wow. Another Surprise. blue flag. <laughs> <laughs> That's documented proof of Andre cheating. <laughs> he pulled two out at once, and then the next two he pulled out were two blue flags. Well, what's the point of pulling them if you don't serious, keep pulling them? Seriously. Okay, I'll pull a red one for you. Four. Uh, that's probably... Ooh, that's sharp. That's my boys over there. All right, so I'm going to move up and burn that house down. So I got eight guys in contact. I th we haven't ever done this before, but... Uh, so it says I need an 11. So I roll one dice per guy. And I got the tinder box, which I can't find the rules for, but we'll just say it adds plus one pip. So if I somehow fail to get 11 total on all of these, It'll be, uh, then I'm going to sell roll. I'm gonna sell all my sharp uh, practice armies, so it's burned down. So I'm assuming that's how it works. We've never actually done that, but house is now burned down. I get a victory point. So we're actually tied right now. No. You killed... No, you're actually up two. Two to one. So if anyone knows how that tinder box works and how to burn a house down, let me know. <laughs> I saw the tinder box rules, but I couldn't... I mean, I saw it where it said what, what they are, but it doesn't say how to actually use it. I'm sure it's in there somewhere, but it's in shape. Activating, wheeling forward. Activating Harper. Wheeling forward. So Harper wheeled up, and he also ordered uh, Wadsworth to move back over there to intercept the sharp. Well, 
That's an assumption, but where else are they going? <laughs> they have to get over that fence though still. Ooh. Ah. Your big man. Uh, Gage, he uh, ordered his two groups to snap in with those other two groups, so there's a big group now. And then he moved himself that direction towards the end of the line. He didn't get a very good roll though. Four flags. What? Come on. What's going on here? Hey, look what I see. Oh, you're going to try to shoot it then? Are you well, in range? I'm not in an arc yet. I think you are. Uh, actually... Yeah, you're in arc. And in range. Barely. So you could uh, present and fire. Is it a flank shot? Uh, you're facing... I'm facing straight ahead. Well, I'm kind of huddled around the house burning it down a bit. Yeah, I would... I know. I think these guys would be flanked, but probably not them because they're not behind the line. Yeah, I would buy flank there, but I, I mean, I'd say you got to be behind. Which okay, so we're gonna shoot with them. So let me. We'll let Andre think about it. So he's gonna fire, present, and fire onto those guys. So, so fourteen needing fourteen needing fives. One hit. <laughs> Thank you. All those good rolls are finally catching up with you. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just killed a man. My string of sixes on the uh, casualty rolls continues. <laughs> okay, and then eight more. I'd like to count up how many sixes. Well, I guess I could easily do that by just counting how many dead guys I have. Right? Whoa. Holy. <laughs> those are all hits from the flank. What the? All right, Andre. <laughs> And I got another six, so that's two dead, and we got six shock, because these guys are, well, we're saying they're on the flank. Is that in the open? Uh, Is that another three? Well, they're in light cover, so. So the other three doesn't count. Oh, yeah. So, so it's only four shock. Four shock, and two dead, so let me check my leader here. <laughs> All right. Something's telling me that the guys, pull it together. the dice gods are not wanting me to play well to, or not win this game tonight. So, well, at least I rolled a one on that. Uh, oh no, that was he's killed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at least you rolled a one on Yay. that. Okay, I was thinking that was my bad thing. No. Well, that's great. Uh, What's that? Minus two? Just one. Status leader two. He was a leader two. Minus uh, five or status leader two killed five or six, so a minus one. So I'm down to three. So I gotta take three. two flags out. We should have taken <sighs> the one last time, shouldn't we? Probably, yeah. Man, it's just not going my way tonight, that's for damn sure. Rolling sixes on the wounds and low on the leaders, and that's never a good combo. The next card. Hey, I read something red. Which I'm not have much red left. I got minus three. I'll be minus four out of there here in a minute. I only have three flags, so I can't possibly get a fourth flag, sadly. Six. That's Wadsworth. But he already activated. Three hey. flags. Uh, what do I have? So I got a one, a four. So what do I even have left? I got uh, Martin. And that's it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I only got three leaders left. Man. So I could activate Martin. Uh, Martin is taking, I forgot, he, he was going to order Martin to take over command of the, uh, the formation because yep. he was going to try to yeah, get well, the hell out of Dodge. He moved off by himself. So yeah, you so could say that. Martin could activate that whole formation. So Martin, in command of the giant formation, a sergeant, he uh, wheeled them up five and he took off. He used all the flags and he removed almost all but one shock. Yes. Five, that's Pope. That's the cannon. Oh, yeah, that works too. Um, we'll uh, present and fire. Okay. So he's targeting the big formation. 
much fun. That's the only thing you can see. So presenting and firing, need and force. Two Three. misses, so that's eight hits. Eight hits? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Four, five, six, six, seven. Uh, so what do I got? Four groups there, so two each. So we'll just start uh, on this close end here. No sixes yet. Oh, there's one. So one shock on the first one. Yep. Two shocks on the second one. Okay. Two shock on the third one. And one shock and a dead on the far end. That's a double unload. Double unload. And then uh, I guess next turn. Oh, I'm sorry. We still got stuff in there, don't we? Yeah, we still got plenty of blue. A blue too. Sergeant Knox. He'll uh, just watch. And am I going to get it or is it the Tiffin? Get what? Oh, the Rangers? Or those dudes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, of course we get it. <laughs> They're going to turn around and take a flank shot. All right. Actually, I guess they'll move 1d6 with their free move. Yep, seven shots into the flank. Uh, Short seven, range, so three, that's four just going to be four. Okay, so I guess one on each. Okay. So first one. Two shots. Second one. Third one. <laughs> hey, look at wow. that. Oh, a dead. Two dead. <laughs> yeah, double the kill. <laughs> So really, I only took two shock out of all that, and which is dead. a miracle. And it did. What's left? Just the tiffin? Uh, still that's, yeah. Tiffin. Okay, so that's end of turn. It's not looking good for Gage. I should just take Delilah and just run off the other way, back to uh, towards Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Four. I believe that is sharp. So sharp was is, dead. Can somebody step up though? Can't somebody step up when you draw it? Oh uh, yeah, I think I have to roll a. F I think if I roll a five, someone jumps up. No, and then he would be one level lower Whoa. than than the original leader. So yeah, I'm just. I really got two leaders left. There's only one thing I can do at this point. That's try to get Delilah off the board as fast as possible. That's uh, Pope. That's the cannon. Oh, cannon. All right, he's tap reloading the cannon, so he's going to fire powder only. <laughs> <laughs> Next card. Uh, blue flag. Keep going. Two. That's Knox. That's my big formation. So Martin has moved up one inch. Took a shock off. Had to move up an inch and fire an uncontrolled volley. And my wife is going to do the honor. We need uh, sixes, sadly, because we're firing Re the control that one. Reroll that one there. This one? Yes. Oh. Yes. Good job. Oh, thank you. That's a really good roll, I actually. We were going for six. We are. <laughs> so five. Oh, and, oh, and by the way, that's on the cannon, but everything, well, in range. I think cannon's the only one in range. Yeah. So five hits on the cannon. So they only put two shock on the cannon after all that. Ooh, all that's right. the main man. Gage only, Gage only moved up six inches, so he didn't even make it to the fence. On three dice. Six. That's Wadsworth. Oh. Yep, that's Wadsworth. So Wadsworth is able to make it all the way over the fence, so he's way over there on the road. Three. Montrose. Oh, uh, Montrose had his men just wheel back with 2d6. They got and two. he can pull a shock too, can't he? Yep, he's a level two. Okay. Next card. I've only got one hope in hell, and that's that I get four four flags out of three out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> four, that's Walker. Mr. Johnny Walker. And shots on the flank. Uh, four, four hits. Four hits. So one each. Starting on this side. Dead. Come on, dead. Give me some sixes. Okay, so it's two, dead, two, two. All right, next one. What do I even have left? Do I even have anything left? I don't have a one sharp and anymore. A, one and a two. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have. I got two leaders. And that's not enough flags. Tiffin. Okay, I'm fine with that. 
And actually, I can move my uh, light infantryman on the flag, on the tiffin. Did and I move? Dude. What so you did I, oh, no, my. You still got your main unit and your sergeant. Yeah, so you can do something with them. So this formation here has just reloaded and presented. Red one. Nope. Red one. No, that's not red one. That is Johnny Walker again. He's just going to keep firing into the flank, I'm assuming. Yeah, unless he wants to. Actually, he'll gonna move. go ahead and move up. Ooh, a six inch move for free. Flank. All right, firing into the flank. Thanks, Tatanka. <laughs> you were supposed to be guarding my flank, Tatanka. So that's five hits. Five hits. So one on each, and then one, I guess, on the leader, which is in the second group over. So two shock, two shock, a dead, and a dead. So two shock, wait, I'm sorry. Two shock, two shock, a dead, and nothing. Shock wise, I'm, it's building up. So seven, three, four, three. three. And, well, he is a level, Martin's a level two, so I could remove some shock, or I could just not even worry about it. I mean, I can keep removing it, but I gotta get Gage off the board. Six. He's gonna have to charge along the edge and hope he makes it through the fire. Oh wait, I never moved those guys. I need to still move them. Because I had a flag after the tiffin, I never oh, okay. moved them. So what was left to Sharp Squall? There's still a lot of guys left, but they just moved behind the to the corner of the house up there. Next card. That was from last turn, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to move them. So three is uh, Montrose again. He's gonna remove uh, a shock and present. Yeah. Okay. Need a red one. Blue one, not the not that one. <laughs> red one, I said. Well Are you in range? Yes, definitely in range. So firing now from there you would be hitting on fives. Control ball into the red coats. Eating fives. One flag. Needed two flags. Actually you don't have crashing volley. You only oh. have sharp practice because they're volunteers. Uh, I'm getting beat by volunteers, damn it. Not, so, uh, how many? Six. So, one, two, three, four, and five on the leader. And then, which other group do you want it on? Does it matter? Uh, yeah, this group. The end one? Yeah. Okay. Dead in a shock. A <laughs> dead in a shock. A dead. <laughs> hey, look at that, another. Look at this. Four sixes. Wow. So there's one dead in each group and then a shock on the front two. I rolled sixes, a lot of sixes on my uh, saves tonight. Why am I? Well, I just dropped one. It was two all. Oh. It two, was uh, four, six. It was one dead each, I believe. Yeah. And then two shock, one shock on each of those. And okay, so these guys both fell back involuntarily, but the whole they were less than two, so everyone just moved back with them. So now I got a real bad thing. Yes, of course, of course it's a four. Four plus is a minus one, so I'm down to two. So I should only have well, I should have. I keep forgetting to take your flags out. Yeah. So take one out from the last one, and then we'll take another one out. It's really looking hopeless here for me. I should just pull back. Withdraw. All I'm going to do now is get Gage killed. If I withdraw now, I'll still have Delilah. Maybe eventually we'll get her to New York. <laughs> <laughs> At some time. Tiffin. So you have two flags. Uh, so you can go first. You got two and five, which is Knox and the cannon. So this is Knox? No, Knox is your sergeant. Oh. So you got your oh, sergeant and my and cannon. cannon. So the cannon will present and fire into the formation. Although I really wanted to uh, do the assault here and take them out that way, but 
Yeah, let's see what happens with the cannon. You still might get a chance. I need to know what? Fours? So one, two, three, three hits. So, what kind of shock here? Uh, put one on those guys with three shock. Nothing. The guys with four shock. Uh, another shock. And then four shock. Actually, no. These guys here. If they get another shock, they're going to break. Nothing. Nice. So, cannonball, it's kind of bounced right through. Didn't do anything. Oh, that's what happens when the line gets that thin. Uh, and then now it's my turn. Um, who's activated? Nobody, huh? Nobody's activated. I can't activate my leader, though. <sighs> I'm not going to do anything. Matter of fact, I think I might just retreat. If I can hold on to Delilah. How are we going to resolve that, though? I mean, I still have Delilah, right? So Yeah. Is Delilah in the campaign or in the scenario you're working on? No. No? Okay. Uh, yeah. This, well, I could either come out and get shot by the presented uh, militia. <laughs> because that's really the only unit I can do anything with. These guys are... I can't pull any shock. They can do nothing. Um, yeah, so next turn, I guess. Alright, next turn. Hey, Tiffin. Uh, reload, present. Oh, that sucks. Why? You reload, I lose all my presents. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I've been building up to this moment. This table is mine. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish. Uh, you just been hustled, Andre. I see that. I got another group of uh, Dragoons. Your second, uh, the second group of Dragoons second is going to appear now. Second group of Dragoons is coming in. Just the, that's two uh, end of chapters in one turn, or one game, which is... Yeah. With this many... This never happened. Four. This many? Uh, <laughs> well... You forgot that I have five out of here. Yeah, that, that helps. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're actually, you're supposed to have one more out, aren't you? I should have two. Two just, left. Just... Oh, two? Okay. I think, yeah, because... So four, who's that? Blue four? Isn't that the Johnny? These boys? Yep. Okay. 3d6 over the fence. Okay. So they make it. Okay, fisticuffs on the flank. Oh, you're not unloaded anymore though, but... It doesn't matter. I got eight shock. Yeah. And it hit that flank. You know what, I'm just gonna call it. I'm pulling out. I'm taking Delilah, engage, and I'm gonna run off. So you can kill all the red coats you want, but uh... Gage and Delilah are going to run off the board. That, uh, yeah. And leave the rest of the men to their fate. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Delilah is important. She's got information. She's she a spy. Does. She's she a does. continental spy. So I'm going to call it. Uh, there's no, no way in hell. I was kind of, well, we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, so game over. Obviously, it was a completely one sided game tonight. Uh, that's all right because I think the last couple of times that I played Andre it has been one-sided the other way. Well, actually, I think I did win the last one, but okay. So you won two, and I won the two before that. But uh, I had a string before that where you were just uh, snuffing me, and I think it was more than two in a row. But yeah. But no, this done is, is done. <laughs> this is a tough one. I mean, but this is a we very knew it was going to be hard uh, from the get go. Well, especially when you bring. I mean, the, your hard cover didn't come into play much. It did that one volley, but still have an extra hard cover. Plus, you had a hard cover here. Yeah, it's uh, the hard cover really didn't come into play much just because I had so many good rolls off the get go. Yeah, um, and you had Indians good... got stuffed oh, out in the yeah out in the open. I really needed to get them in a flag so I could use step out and get over here. But my deployment point was over there. If it would have been over here, I could have been, it would have been a lot better for me than starting on that side. But uh, yeah, it's just it's bad, it's brutal, it's horrible. Well, it's horrendous. I mean, more words can I think of? <laughs> you captured my main deployment point. I did. You never even deployed anything off of it. <laughs> I didn't, which kind of surprised me, but once I kind of saw how this was playing out, it's, you know, I, I looked at, uh, you know, coming up here and just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, and it's like, 
That would not have probably been a good idea. Yeah. Well, and you seemed a little surprised when, and I already talked to Travis about this a little off camera. Um, this, uh, my main unit, was going to march up here in column and then just about face. And at that time, you would have either had to turn and face me and take flank shots from the cannon or stay where you were and take flank shots from the line. And that's what I was thinking till the Dragoons kind of well, yeah, <laughs> halted that idea. But and the Dragoons, I mean, the Dragoons are, it's hard to, I think it's, I mean, well, I've never played it in Cavalry, so it's kind of the first game, but playing the short edge with so much stuff, there's nowhere, if we were playing long edge, you I would have really flank me. I would have had more maneuver, room yeah. to maneuver, but when I was, I mean, there was, you had stuff. Well, you had to do across. something too. Um, I mean, you were already kind of back on your heels at that point. Yeah. And if I would have won this, because Andre got five, I got six. If I would have got six and he got two or three, that would have been this whole side would have looked totally different. Because I would yeah. have won by multiple. He would have ran and faced the other way. This whole formation would be gone. I still would have like seven, six or seven horses. I mean, yeah. You roll on those five. On ten five fives on ten dice. Yeah, no, you you made the right <laughs> didn't uh, help the right call um, with that uh, charge. It uh, I was I was sweating it. Yeah, and you got to you got to really I got lucky. Roll. I got lucky a lot tonight. I'll um, go with that. <laughs> yeah, and you capture Ram's bottom. So now I got to like we now we got to write a scenario that I have to rescue Ram's bottom, <laughs> which means that some sergeant's gonna. Or take maybe over. we'll just trade for Delilah. Ah, prisoner exchange. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll agree to that right now. Fine, you can have the winch. I'll take my uh, dashing uh, cavalry lieutenant back. What do I need her for? So. Well, I'd explain it to you off camera, but... <laughs> I need it to explain to me. Okay. What do you do with women, Andre? Well, um... <laughs> well... <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> They're right. complicated, Travis. Yeah. They're complicated. Yes, that I know. So anyway, uh, the well, the rabble, volunteers, militia, yeah, wipe the floor with the uh, red coats. So that's you're not going to see that very often. No, that's uh, the big surprise there. I guess is that you uh, didn't. Uh, um, yeah, no, I expected to get uh, broken and busted up a lot worse. Yeah, me too. Well, you, I expected you to get broken up a lot worse, <laughs> not me. <laughs> yeah, no, it, uh... But, hey, that's why you roll the dice, right? That's the way it is. That's nothing you can do about that. Sometimes it, is, it happens that way, so... Next time, though, um... We're gonna try Ram's Bottom again next game. Do you I have... still got my first fire. That's right, they never fired. They never fired. <laughs> Are you, you, uh... So the... Andre's right in the uh, scenario right now. Um... For sharp practice so are you putting the dragoons in the dragoons are possibly so it's uh, like an well actually i can't tell you because you're playing it okay yeah so he's writing it he's gonna referee and then me and uh, steve are gonna play and it's uh actually gonna be the first step in a uh, campaign so cool so sharp practice campaign from andre coming up it'll be a a little bit uh different it's gonna it'll be different all right. So uh, yeah, from hopefully the in mouth. a couple of weeks we'll <laughs> be able to uh, take that on. And uh, I think the trickiest part is going to be uh, figuring out how to film it because I like to make things kind of complicated, which means um, as the referee, I'm going to be... You're going to have to be the cameraman? Um, well, there's going to be stuff that um, you and Steve will probably have to step out while I check things on the board because I've got um, a lot of uh, hidden possibilities. Okay. So it's uh, I'm utilizing the referee um, to allow things that can't be seen. You know, normally everything's just shown on the board and you're able to take that into account. But in this scenario, there's going to be a lot of dense cover and uh, blocked line of sight. So the opponents aren't necessarily going to know where everything is 
from their opponent's point of view. But uh, anyway, more to be, uh, uh, well, you'll find out in a couple weeks. Uh, hopefully we can get Steve over and we'll uh, give it a fling. Yeah, all right, looking forward to it. So uh, anyway, the rabble has uh, swept the field of the Redcoats, but Lieutenant, or Captain Gage is taking Delilah and taking her back to headquarters, so. But the prisoner exchange might still happen, so. <laughs> <laughs> I need Rams bottom back. He can't be gone already. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, that's it. So, hopefully this, uh, you guys uh, like this one, and uh, we'll be back next time.